Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay, so I'm now in January. I believe this is the first vlog I filmed. Yeah, this is the first vlog I filmed actually in 2022. <laughs> somehow making it through to the new year. Awesome. Um, so of course I have no idea what I'm going to talk about. Um, so I know the vlog that came out before this vlog was the one talking about me going to go get my COVID jab. I had the jab, had a little bit of a sore arm. It wasn't even hurting as much as like the last time. Uh, so it didn't hurt as much as my second jab. So like the booster was like the least inconvenient of all ones that I've had so far. <laughs> I was fine. I was like, like I predicted, I was absolutely fine again. Um, as I said, I don't 100% know what that means. I'm taking it to mean that if I do ever get sick, um, my system is probably not going to completely shut down because it, like, um, it's not going to knock me completely for six. How I'm choosing to, to see it. I could be wrong. Um, it could be a bad sign. It could mean the complete opposite of what I think it does. Um, but, you know, I know how I tend to react to a lot of illnesses. And, you know, I know what I'm like when I'm unwell. So, yeah, I, I'm choosing to be optimistic about this one. And if you're wondering why it keeps popping, it's because... Jade is currently talking in chat to me. Um, she's being very talkative this morning. <laughs> Usually when I come down, come to sit down to do these, she hasn't said anything for a while. Um, but right now she's deciding that she wants to say lots and lots and lots of things. So yeah, that's why the messenger keeps popping and it's going to pop again in a few seconds. Um, so speaking of the lovely Jade, <laughs> Why not? Uh, so I know I've, I've spoken before about how she is an audio writer. I'm putting it as an audio writer because it's kind of a mixture of things that she sort of is aiming to do. Uh, she wants to write audio dramas, um, whether they're specifically for radio or whether they will come out in other formats is very dependent on a lot of things um but she does definitely primarily write for, for audio type things um last year was kind of a bit of a mixed bag of a year for her um in some ways she made a lot of positive steps but in other ways she remained completely stationary um she does suffer from a lot of anxiety um, and depression related issues so it's not a case of well why didn't she make more progress well no, she didn't make more progress because there are genuinely reasons that are blocking her from making the kind of progress that she could be making if those things were not factor um so the fact that she's being very talkative to us this morning <laughs> Um, it's probably a slightly good sign um, because it means mean she's in a focused enough mood to actually hold conversation. Um, whereas sometimes, like on my days off, I will say hello to her in the morning and I won't hear anything from her until like the evening because she's just gotten herself lost in whatever it is she's gotten herself lost in. And as I said, it's not it's not her fault. It's just how mental health works for some people, um, for a lot of people, uh, depending on, you know, what it is that you are uh, struggling with. Um, on the same sort of similar note to that, um, Jade has gotten into adopting builder bears and I'm, I'm putting it specifically like that. Um, rather than collecting, um, adopting uh, builder bears, um, and has started a new channel. She's only currently got her introduction video on it at the moment, but it's basically going to be a bit like um, 
bit like a doll taking care of Channel but for Builder Bears and I have 100% encouraged her in this. Anything that she does that makes her feel like there is some positivity in her life, I encourage her. Because um, if you are somebody who is struggling with your mental health and you're struggling with a lot of anxiety, being told, no, you can't do that is not helpful. <laughs> But even if that wasn't true, I would still be encouraging her to do stuff like that because I very much believe that as long as what you are doing isn't causing physical or mental or emotional harm to somebody else, then why why would you not do it? Um, if it makes you happy, do it. Who cares about age appropriateness? Just do it. Um, as I said, as long as it's not causing harm to another person, then you know, it, it's, it's fine, and her adopting Builder Bears and um, creating a narrative around her Builder Bears is, you know, something that's useful for her, and it's making her happy, and actually, I would argue, probably will benefit her in the long run as a writer as well, because by creating narratives around um, things you are allowing your imagination to sort of grow, you're allowing your, um, you, you're then looking into things that you might not necessarily be looking into, and one of the things that she does do with her Builder Bears is she does, um, I don't want to say give them, but the narrative that she creates for them um, includes things like uh, disabilities and neurodivergence and um, various things like that, um, along with, you know, um, exploring ideas of different sexualities, different gender identities. So in terms of something you can do as a writer that is going to be very positive in the long run, creating those sorts of narratives to give you a way of exploring those sorts of narratives without necessarily having to write about them is a very positive thing to be doing. So you've got the one hand of it being something that makes her happy, which she needs, um, second hand it doesn't hurt anybody so why shouldn't she do it the third hand that it's allowing her to explore ideas and concepts that she's not able to explore in other ways so like yeah why why is this not a good thing um so i believe her ch her new channel is called cubby mama um i will link for it in the description below if it's something anybody out there thinks they might be interested in um I, as i said i know this is a bit of a weird topic for me to be doing it's like my first official and i wasn't sitting down planning to talk about this but that, that conversation keeps going off and like the conversation currently that she's sort of trying to have does involve one of the one of the cubbies as she likes to call them um one of the cubs so it's kind of like oh, you know what, it's now on my mind, it's clearly on her mind, so let's just, you know, as I said, it's something I want to encourage her to do, um, I think it is, it has been very beneficial um, in terms of her emotional health this year, um, or last year, I should say, it's something that gives her genuine happiness, and she needs things like that, and as I said, I, I don't see anything wrong with it anyway, I'm speaking as somebody who still has teddy bear in their bed that they sleep with every night, who has a bunch of stuffed toys behind them on these vlogs. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm clearly not somebody to go around going, yeah, that's really childish, don't do that. Um, I, you know, as I said, it's not hurting anybody. It's, yeah, okay, she's in her 30s, but so who cares? Like, age is just a number, and it's far more important for people to be doing things that are good for their emotional well-being, that are good for the mental health, that's, you know, good for them, that makes them happy, than it is for people to force themselves to be miserable, to fit in to what society is telling them they're supposed to be fitting in with. So, yeah, protest that society, societal demand of having to grow up and do this. <laughs> like, be free to be the child that you want to be, even if you're an adult. <laughs> Especially if you're an adult. Um, but yeah, so, as I said, I will link it in the description below. Um, I have no idea if she'll have another video out by the time this one goes up. I'm kind of hoping she will. 
um, but like getting videos out isn't the easiest thing for her because of her CP. Um, but I'm hopeful um, that she will get some more videos out definitely before the end of the year. Um, I think it would be really good for her. I'm looking forward to watching them um, just because some of the few times that I get to see her actually being happy at the moment, especially because like she doesn't live particularly close. So most of what I get is like chat messages and yeah, it, it's nice to like know that she's doing something that is positive for her and I, as a supportive friend, am going to be supporting her in this. As I said, I'm going to be encouraging her to do it because I don't see why she shouldn't be doing it. Like even if it wasn't a case of she needs something to make her happy, I'd still be going, yeah, do it. <laughs> yeah, do it. If, if it's something that you want to do and it's not hurting anybody, do it. Um... And that's just my general philosophy on life anyway, because, you know, I think I think far too much emphasis is put on people fitting in with societal norms, and I don't think that is necessarily the right thing for everybody, and I don't think it's necessarily healthy for everybody to be forcing themselves into boxes that don't work for them, says the envy. <laughs> um... So, yeah, um, as I said, I know this is a bit of a weird one, this is definitely not what I sat down to talk about, but because the chat kept going off um, at the start of this, I was like, you know what, let's let's just do this. It's not like I really had a plan for what I wanted to talk about with this time anyway, so why not go for the first thing that's came into my head, that's literally the first thing that came into my head. As I said, I will link to the channel down below, hopefully she'll get more videos up and hopefully the channel will be successful for her. Um, if, for no, if for nothing else, hopefully the channel will give her a sense of fulfillment, um, just like a sense of fulfillment, a general sense of happiness. Um, she could really do with some positivity in her life and hopefully doing this and promoting the channel a little bit for her um, will give her some of that positivity. Hopefully. Who knows? <laughs> right, okay. Um, I hope you found this one sort of random and interesting. I hope you're looking forward to seeing whatever random and interesting thing I'm going to be talking about next time, and I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, consider checking out some of my others, and if you like what you see, consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching. See ya.